What's up guys, it's Brandon from modern to me and today we are going to be talking about the dot operator. We've been using the dot operator for a very long time, as long as I can remember. And when I say the dot operator, I mean like this dot right here, we're saying this dot name or system dot out dot print line input dot close all of those dots we've been using dots for a long time and i've never really covered what they are and so that's what i'm going to finally touch on today so when do you use a dot operator well you use a dot operator when you want to access a field from a class so like here we want to access this scanners close method and from this print ln we want to access this outs print ln method and stuff like that. That's when we use this dot operator. When we don't use this dot operator is like right here, we have this name field, but this field of the class, we're already in that actual class. So we don't need to use the dot operator. If you want to use the dot operator, you use this, this dot name, but we don't really have to. So let me kind of make, show you a better example of this. So we need to make another method within this person class. So just type, just go public and we're going to call it say hello it's public say hello we're gonna have this be a void method just something real simple and within here we are going to have it be system dot out dot print ln actually print f and we're going to say high percent s exclamation point and we're going to have this string this string be a the name of the person so what this is going to do is when we call say hello it's going to say hi jill hi bob that's all it's going to do and what we're going to do is we want to call this from our constructor so our constructor is part of the class we're currently working in. So when you're actually working in your own class, you don't need to use the dot operator. So we just want to do say hello. And that's all you have to do. You just do say hello. And from here, if you wanted if you wanted to call say hello from Bob, you can't just do say underscore hello. That doesn't make any sense. It doesn't so you get some weird error. It says it's undefined for the type first class because if you're not using the dot operator, it's expecting this say hello method to be from first class. And if you think about it, it's really it's it's ambiguous because it doesn't know what say hello method you're referring to. If we have multiple people, multiple person instances, it doesn't know which person you want to call this say hello method on. But if you're using this say hello method within the actual class, since classes are kind of defining how this object works, it's going to just call this say hello method on whatever object or whatever instance it is working on. So when you call a constructor, it's going to call this say hello method on the object you just created. Or for some reason we had this say hello method be in get name, it's going to call this say hello method on whatever get name you're working with. So it really just needs to know what class to call this say hello method on. So what we can do is we can do bob dot say hello, and that's going to work just fine. You see, it's all happy, and that is why we use the dot operator. Use the dot operator to make sure it knows what objects to call it on if you are not working in the class the method is in. So let's just run this real quick, and you'll see that we get, well, we get all sorts of stuff. Hang on, let me get rid of this. Now let's run it again. We get, hi, Jill, hi, Jill. We don't have a anything to break up the line, but it's calling the method twice, and that's all our method does. So that's working perfectly. So that's when you use the dot operator. I hope that makes sense now, and now you should be experts on dots. I'm going to see you guys in next tutorial.